Beloved brother, nothing is easily obtained, not the revelation and the message from the Lord. My brothers and I were in fourteen days of fasting. It has not been easy at all. There are people who think serving God is equal to be relaxing. And many times we think it is easy to receive what God speaks to us. The Bible says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We are people with weaknesses and errors. But the Bible says that the one who started the good work in us will perfect it. God has already started something in me and you, God is going to perfect his work because God is perfect. Through every message that God gives us, he is going to perfect the work. It was fourteen days of fasting and prayer. We started from the month of April and we ended on May 7th. And in the course of those fasts, we were in the mountains several times to do spiritual war and to cry out and pray. And I want you to pay attention and have reverence. This is not just any message or any preaching. This is a sacred message. When we went to the mountains to look for God there, God visited us and filled us with his presence. Though we were tired, we cried in the presence of God. As we prayed on that mountain, I saw in a vision, an angel that was in the air. When I joined him, he anointed me with oil on each of my fingers. And it was oil from heaven. The angel anointed my ears, my eyes, and my toes, even the soles of my feet. And he told me, I'm preparing you for the Father to give you a message for his church. We were seeking the Lord in those days of fasting, I felt physically tired. I went up to the room where we were praying. And while I was in the room, I laid down. And when I laid down, I started to see something that came to me like a ball of fire. I saw a fireball coming over me. It was coming so close to me. I opened my eyes as I thought it was the meteor that God has spoken about. The fireball has stopped and formed a giant angel. I saw that it was an angel covered with fire. And I asked him, Who are you with authority? He told me, I am the angel of life. I am the angel of Jehovah. I could tell it was the angel that encamps around the one who fears God. That angel had a circle that covered him with fire. I remember he had curly hair and honey color eyes. He was tall about two meters. He had no wings and was covered in fire. He told me, Jehovah said you must prepare yourself because on May 23rd, in the afternoon, I'll come to you again. Now get ready. Because what comes to your life is something great. I shared with brothers about the date. We continue seeking the face of God. We kept praying and nothing happened. When I lost my strength, I began to see the same angel of God. He was coming like fire. I saw that he stood in front of me and told me, Now you know who I am, the angel of Almighty God. Take my hand. I have something to show you from Jehovah. He was mentioning the word Jehovah to me when he took me by the hand. I remember we came down in the church and the angel led me around every corner. And we did seven turns in the church. He started to pray and anoint with oil in this church. He told me, Do you know why I came to this church? It's because there are satanic groups who are working so that this work that Jehovah has raised is destroyed. The angel told me, You know why many times the saints feel tired inside Jehovah's house. They feel without strength to praise Jehovah. They feel discouraged because there are Satanists who have risen against this work, which is a work for nations and edification of many lives. The angel anointed this house with the oil. The angel of the Lord told me, Now I have to show you where these Satanists are working to destroy our father's work. He took me to a place in a huge city in the spirit. There is no distance in the spirit. We entered a room and in that room, there were brown people and he told me, This is the nation of Brazil. There were Satanists with strong ranks and older witches. I began to see that they had a big altar and on that altar, they had symbols. When we entered the places I smelled like a smell of medicine branches. I saw on the altar, many documents. And in one of those documents was a document of this church that was in construction with the date of start. I heard some of these Satanists saying this church has risen, but we will put an end to it so that this work no longer continues. And the angel of Jehovah told me, the spirit world is not a game. 
The spirit world is something real. The people of God must see with spiritual sight. Look, these Satanists have put a date to bring down Jehovah's work but tell the people that the Lord is the beginning and he is the end and when he opened the door no one can close it. When God opens a door, there is no devil, there is no principality, there is no ruler that can shut it because the gates of hell will not prevail against his church. A few days before the end of the second fast day at night, I felt lack of peace. I felt loneliness and I did not know what was happening. I said, Lord, tell me what's going on. Many think this is something easy. Church, you know how I felt being a minister of God. I felt spiritually bound, heavily laden. Being the new minister of God. I felt distracted in the spirit world. And I did not understand why I felt that way. When I was with the angel he showed me one plaster statue about a meter. I saw that these Satanists had built a plaster statue in my likeness. The angel of the Lord told me, look why days ago you asked Jehovah why you felt tired. Look what they do to you through this statue. I started to look at the statue that was my image. I saw that it had ties and chains from the head up to the feet, the hands, the knees were bound by Satanists. The angel told me, you are going to command the church to unite for spiritual warfare and battle. There are many saints in this time that feel tired, they feel burden and heavy. They feel that they can no longer advance. They cannot continue and they feel sadness in their hearts. They feel that at night, they don't have tranquility. You have to tell them to begin to start cutting ties and engaging spiritual warfare to break chains and to break linkages. You have to tell the church to start fasting and prayer vigils. The fast with prayer has significant power. In the spiritual world, your fasting and vigil is a barrier for Satan and demons that are in the air. When you do spiritual warfare, it is a weapon that Satan is fearing. When you pray in the spirit world, something strong happened. The church is oppressed and feels like in captivity. The church must cry and must proclaim self-liberation in the name of Jesus Christ. The angel took me out of that place. When we had left that place, we entered another nation. I saw that this was the nation of China. There was a room like the size of this place and there were some people sitting there. They were waiting for someone's arrival. These were rules, presidents, kings. They had before them a laboratory. The angel told me, Look who's going to arrive. The spirit world is so real. Immediately I saw a spaceship. The angel told me, many think this is crazy. Many see these spaceships as a myth or invention of the mind. Because they don't know the spiritual world. Brother, a spaceship was arriving like an alien ship. A ladder went down to the door, a metal ladder. I saw a hideous looking demon emerging from the ship. He looked like a horrible alien. And every time this alien stepped on a step of the ladder going down to the room, his appearance was changing. His physical appearance changed to an aspect of a human. Every step he descended his structure became like a human being. He entered that hall and was welcomed in reverence. The angel told me, this is a demon of Satan. When he entered the room, I saw that he had in his hand what seems like a flask that they use in the laboratory like glass bottles with pipette. And he had that container in his hand. He had that small tube in his hand and I saw that that tube had a green liquid that he placed on that table. This demon said to the elite that was there, look at this, we have a disease created by ourselves. We have the permission of God to release it. He talked about the Lord's permission to deploy this sickness. And the angel of God told me, you know why this disease is in this present time? This disease was created by Satan and only by the permission of Jehovah it was released. They will bring more diseases created in hell by Satan. But the Church of Christ has a seal of protection, the evil and diseases will not reach them. I heard this alien that was a demon saying, Satan wants more souls in his abode the place of torment. Satan wants more souls to go to his home the place of torment and time is up, time is finished. The angel said, Demons are creating diseases to bring more souls to the house of Satan, the place of torment. 
This demon said to the world leaders, you have to spread these diseases over the whole world. We already have the permission of the Lord. I remember that he gave them to those people. And the place was like a laboratory. At that moment, the angel told me, you have to tell to the church of Christ, this is real. Tell the church of Christ that the world elite, the royal families, the presidents, and the great harlot, the Vatican are ready to go out to destroy churches. Everything that is happening is part of the great horror agenda. This is the Vatican agenda. And one of those demons said to those ruling class of human civilization, you have to pretend to feel pain for humanity and for your nation. You must pretend that you are feeling pain but you are not. You have no heart. Remember, you don't have a heart. You have a heart of evil and those people got it in their minds. The angel told me, what you have seen is real. I have complied with Jehovah's instruction. And we rose at a great speed where I started to look at the land. While we rose, the land got smaller and smaller. While climbing, we got to the second heaven in space. There was a large rock where I saw a character sitting. He was dressed in a white robe, looking down at the earth. And the angel came to him and said, It is fulfilled, Lord Jehovah. The Lord told him, Well done. The angel looked at him for more instruction but the Lord didn't look at him. The Lord gazed towards the earth. I remember that he took me by the hands and told me, My son, what my angel showed you is real. But now I'm going to show you something that you have to tell my people. I am with you and I love you. What is coming for your life is something strong. Immediately I began to hear the abyss opening and a cloud of black smoke rising out of the abyss. Immediately a character dressed in black rose out of the abyss. I kept looking at this character that rose up in accelerated speed to the second heaven where the Lord was on the rock. The Lord told me, Son, do not fear because I am with you. This character in black stood in front of the Lord God Almighty with his head down. He won't look at the face of God. And then I heard this entity saying, Lord, you know that the time has come, you know that the time has arrived? You know very well that it is time. I want you to give me permission because the time has come. The time of the separation of weak from tares has arrived. It is the time that I receive the tares. It is time for the tares to be assembled and to be thrown into the fire. I remember that many told you they love you. Yet they do not yearn for your presence. They don't have you in their hearts. Many love you for benefits. The Lord started crying for humanity and said to this character, I give you permission to go to the earth. Shake the wheat, get the tares, and throw them into the fire to your place. But leave me the wheat because they belong to me. Leave me the wheat as they are mine. The wheat is the bride. The wheat belongs to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. When the Lord said, I give you permission, I looked at that character dressed in black who was Satan. May the Lord rebuke him. He flew over the earth like lightning descending to the earth. And the Lord told me, Remember the story of Job. I gave Satan permission to touch his goods, his body, and his family but not his soul. He did not touch his life because he was the wheat that belonged to me. This year, many ministers will be shaken. Pastors will be shaken. Many will be lost. The Lord began to tell me, Now you have to tell my people that Satan has a power that is limited. Tell my church that I am the Almighty. Satan has asked to shake your life. Satan has asked to shake children, young adults, elders, ministers. Satan has come this year to shake Jehovah's ministers. Ministers of God, stay true to the Lord. You must remain faithful to the Lord.